Okay, this is your multiplication review. Okay. It says read each question carefully and write the letter for the answer on form provided. Just review. So I need for you to be on this page, please. Okay. It says four groups of eight of two. Okay. I want to know how many groups are all together. Okay, you can either can go four times two or count every single one of those, right? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Same thing for um for number two. Okay, I can go three times seven. Or I could just count all of them, right? Okay. I'm not giving you the answer. Okay. That's you need to do it. Same thing for number three. Okay. I have six groups of three each. Ms. Partita, I don't know what six times three is. Okay. Can I count every circle? Yeah. Yes, I can. Okay. It says, uh, which of the following number sentences is a commutative property of multiplication? Well, out of all those, which one's multiplication? Which one has a multiplication sign? H. H does. H does. And look at number five. It says, which array represents the multiplication of five times five? Okay. The first number tells me how many rows that I have, how many rows I should have. Five. Five. The second number tells me how many in each row, right? Yeah. Obviously, does this have five rows? No. No. Does this have five rows? No. no. Does this have five rows? No. no, that one only has two. Look at six. It says use your array to find three times two. Well, if you don't know what three times two is, what, what's another way I can find them out? Count all, all the circles, huh? Yes. All right, look at seven. Oh, by the way, this is multiplication review, right? Yeah. So what would be my multiplication sentence for number seven? These are the two numbers right here. It says Bill has four, four groups. Three. Bill has four groups of counters with three counters each. So he has four groups, right? One, two, three, four. And how many counters in each? In each? Three. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then just count all the lines, right? Yes. Yes. So look at number eight. It says matching multiplication senses in the groups. How many groups are there? Three. Three. How many in each group? Five. Five. And we're and we're to say multiplication, right? Yes. So which one looks like three times five? Uh, F does. Uh, uh. Now number nine says. Uh, the array below shows four rows. Okay. With how many in each row? Five. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Okay. How many circles and squares in all? Well, can I just count all the squares? Or I can go four times five, which is the need to figure it out. Okay. And then number 10, Juan Maria and Steven. Each have eight pencils. How many people are there? Three. three. One, two, three. And each person has how many pencils? Eight. Again, how many pencils does each person have? Eight. Eight, eight, and eight. Okay. And the whole homework is multiplication, so it's going to be one, two, three, three people times how many pencils they have? Eight. Eight. Which would be twenty-four. 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 